Well, here's the uh, final step of this VMAX paint. This is the color. Some kind of a pearl gold looks pretty good. I've got it pretty much all cleaned up. I'll set it up here and uh, start painting it. Well, here's my basic setup. I taped the table so I don't have any dust in it. I put this on a good cardboard box that I can move around here from the paint store. Uh, of course, I'll put it on here and paint the inside first. And then I'll just have four little marks from the corners of the box on the inside. This is a five gallon bucket and another box with some paper on it uh, that'll be good enough for these scoops. I've got the, uh, the tank kind of swinging in the breeze here but I'll be able to paint the inside of it and the outside and I won't have to be laying it on anything. I'll just have to make sure I get enough paint up in there to kind of cover where that clip is uh, it might be a little trouble painting it but uh, I think it'll be all right you can see there where I sanded it yesterday and then sprayed a little different primer where it went through to the metal Probably got a little couple places here like on this and a couple places where I went through and did aluminum on some of this other stuff. But these pieces won't be too bad. I can flip them over here, paint the inside, go ahead and do all the insides of everything. let them flash I'll only put one one coat on flash means when the solvents evaporate off of your off your uh, initial paint job before you can put another coat on but I think I got everything there's two four six eight nine now this here is my uh, crash bar I did a lot of sanding on this last night I'm gonna squirt one more coat of primer in it to cover up where I went into the metal but I'll be able to turn it around and make sure it's painted all the way good uh, I have to hook the bottom of that tarp there so the wind don't blow it over here and touch the so it's the part and I've got my colors and clears I went and got another can of reducer the guy gave me a whole bunch of paint sticks and things I've bought motorcycle paint from him before this time I just wanted to get enough to make sure I could clean the gun and everything and then the last part here is this fender I do the inside of it flip it over it'll have some errors right here from the wet paint where it touches the paper I don't really like that I don't know what to do about it I could probably this is not very good to use but I could put, probably put something under it like that so it's only touching it a little bit but anyway we'll see how that goes I don't really want to paint over here next to my my uh, pretty silver cover it shouldn't hurt it but anyway I'm kind of keeping my paint here in one small area. Uh, I will have errors, of course, 
because of having to flip it over and you know, put it in on paper. It'd be better if this was just a straight plastic bucket instead of paper, but I think if I'm I'm careful here, I'll be this is all on the back side anyway, you'll never see it. But I think I can be careful and get all of this done. Really nice day today. Just a little bit of breeze. Not enough to bother me. It's moving this thing around, but uh, if it gets a little too bad, I'll just move it over there. Maybe, maybe I should probably do that right away. Just go ahead and hang it here. Rather than uh, over here. I don't like it being right out there in the wind. At least over there I've got some sort of a little bit of a dead space or maybe hang it right here or something. I don't want it in my way so I touch it with my shoulder or something trying to get into this this area here. Holes all cleaned up, ready to go. Paint's all ready. All I need to do is wash my new little gun and blow it out. I've got a tack cloth here, which I'll show you how to use. It's sort of a uh, kind of got kind of a wax sort of stuff on it, but it picks up any kind of little dirt, dust. Um, and it helps paint stick so that's one of the things I got to do here is wipe everything down real good with this this tack cloth and I should be able to be ready to mix and squirt I swapped a tank in this grab bar around uh, the wind won't blow it so much and uh, I gotta rotate it around a lot so that'll be pretty easy to do. Looks like I got a little I missed there. I'm just uh hit this with some primer over. Some of the places I sand it all the way through. That should be good for that. Yeah, that ought to be just fine. I'll have a couple little places in here where the where the wire tie is. Yeah, who knows? I may cut that and do something else. And it looks like I might have a little interference right up there where it might touch the roof a little. But basically that's better than the tank. And, of course, the tank is over here. I can rotate it around real good. Should be fine. I'll tie that tarp up so it can't get into the, into the paint. Um, wipe it all down and get my mask ready and might as well start. Well, first thing is, uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the bottom we just have to mix this really good I keep turning the camera too high oh yeah that's pretty stuff wasn't too fond of yellow yellow gold and I can sure see the pearl in this stuff anyway I'll just stir this real good I'm gonna pour about half of a can into the mixing bucket so I can 
get the right amount of reducer and, and everything all set up for it and then I'll put my mask on I can already smell this paint making my nose run I painted a lot in my life and uh, many times I didn't use a mask <coughs> between that and the welding and 70 years of not paying attention to the body got its bad results anyway I'll go ahead and mix this up and get a little more prepared and bring it back whenever we're doing something else there's 16 ounces of paint it's two to one so I need another eight uh, bring me up to my 24 ounce mark which is right there Right, 16 and 8 is 24. Yep. Mix it up good. Yeah, that's pretty. See in the sun here. It's going to be really nice paint. Pretty thin. I have to use low pressure and be careful and then my activator here and I don't know what it says here probably on the can yeah two color to thinner seconds doesn't see what it's supposed to be putting in the primer I mean uh, this catalyst here I'll have to read it a little bit but uh, anyway this is it and it's mixed I'll go ahead and get my gun and everything ready and then I'll catalyze it and start to squirt it all right, here's the, the whole stuff mixed. I read the instructions. It didn't say to put any hardener in this uh, this uh, color coat here, but I did anyway. I know this urethane stuff. I'm pretty familiar with it. Apparently, they just they just want you to catalyze the the paint. Well, let's see if I can pour this in with one handed. Sort of. And I'm going to put about oh, maybe half of my gun. That ought to do it. Well, looks like I got a lot more than half. And cover that up. That's uh, one gun full. That's about half of my paint. That should be enough for paint everything here. At least the first coat. Maybe a little left. And I'm going to always save a little paint for after it's all over with you might miss something so anyway I'll mask up here and start squirting this well I shot the inside of this looks like I got a run right there and another one over there so I need to, well quite a bit right there so any anyway, this stuff's going on really really thin so I need to turn my uh, 
my feed screw on the gun down here so I don't get as much paint and uh, try it on a different part. Alright, here's the fender. Yeah, it's still putting a lot of paint out. Running good there, running good there. So this stuff has to go on even thinner. Yeah, that literally looks terrible in there. I really poured it to it. That's what you want to do. You want to paint the inside of your stuff first. So that's going to change my plan a little. I'm going to go ahead and paint these pieces on the inside over here and see if I can get the technique down so I don't get these big runs and stuff. It looks like just one real fine coat. Well, I turned the paint feed down quite a bit. Looks awfully thin. That looked all right. I turned my air down just a little. Yeah, that's much better. Way I had it set up originally. Squirting it originally was kind of what you do with heavy car paint. Those two look pretty good. I'm not getting a lot of overspray, so I'll continue with some of these other parts. Try to get the inside of everything all done. Got the air and the material turned down even further.
to go on very thin. There's barely enough to put some color. I did that when I got a little run. Okay, here's the inside of the front fender. You can see I got terrible runs in it. Uh, by the way, if you let runs dry just a little bit, you can take your finger and kind of wipe them out. Yeah, see where there's a run that pearl and everything just sinks to the bottom. But anyway, yeah, where it was thin is kind of flashed already. So I'm going to go ahead and just put another thin coat in here. I kind of finger painted the inside of the scoops with that runny paint. Uh, just trying to clean it up a little. Good thing I didn't do that on the on the real painted surface. I'd have had a mess. So now I come back in with my little fine. Fifty percent overlap.
This is a kind of a test on a, the first uh, real surface. I wiped it down good with the tap cloth. I'm just going to go ahead and try to paint it now. I'm going to use long, smooth soap. Try to keep your gun parallel to the surface. stuff so it's a temptation to hit it again try to resist that temptation put it on as even as slow as you can and lots of coat I'm trying to maintain the same distance with my gun I'm about I don't know eight ten inches away my first curved piece try to get all your edges work from the edges into the middle once you start on the main part like I should have wiped that. I got fingerprints in it. Then it'll come out.
Yeah, don't worry so much about what you see as maintaining an even pattern. Now here's where I touch some of the old paint or the new paint on the paper. You can see it here, but I wiped it all down. Nice smooth stroke. Fifty percent overlap. pieces are wiped again. Nice smooth stroke. Same speed.
see there where I had it upside down on the paper. Same thing. Nice big, smooth, slow stroke. Now it's very tempting to put more paint on it, like right here, you know, you can see where it touched the paint on the paper and got onto it. Raise it up a little bit, so it's a temptation just to flood paint on that. Don't. Just, uh, if you look at anything, you'll know, try to look at the gloss. You can see there's a little bit of stuff in the surface, but don't worry about that on your, for sure on your first two or three coats, because what you want to do is get it to look like this. See, it's not real glossy, it's not real shiny, but it's all even. And when you're looking at it wet, you don't realize that it's, uh, it's about ready to run. So, just kind of hang in there and paint it with a pattern. Don't try to look. I mean, yeah, you can look, but uh, you, your eyes will get fooled. But your hand can't get fooled. So you just have a nice, even, slow pattern. If you don't see it, no big deal. Because when you get it out and you turn it around in different parts of the sun, you will see it. Yeah, it looks like I got some run down there on that one. Boy, I got real dizzy all of a sudden. Uh, kind of have to get that one up and... Paint the edge. Boy, I'm really dizzy. Well, right there is my first boo-boo. The bug hit the paint and I cleaned him off. I touched it. I just squirted it very lightly so I don't try to cover up the whole thing. Basically, this tank is gone. Pretty much done on the first coat, and uh, I don't know how much is in my gun here. Maybe a third of it. So it looks like I took about three quarters of a gun to do one coat, and uh, inside and outside. So it's probably going to take about half a gun or half a cup here to go everything. Yeah, you can really see the bad paint in that one. I'm going to put just a little bit more on it to keep it wet. Maybe it'll flow out. Well, here's all the pieces. First coat. I did do two coats on these uh, side covers right here. And these little pieces right here. But those just have one coat. This thing up here has only got one coat. It's kind of hard to paint it hanging like that. I need to do something with it. Here's a 
basically two coats on the fender about three coats on this thing because I was trying to get rid of that stuff and top and uh, the tank's got one good coat on it let me get out of these fumes looks like I used about uh, nearly all of my paint <coughs> yeah even out here in the wide open spaces still smell it uh, my pretty little rose and I got a lot of roses here as soon as I can get this damn bike done I'll cut all my weeds and get this cleaned up uh, here's a little trip you can put a fender or something like that on a can and uh, then you can just rotate the can you don't have to touch the fender you can get it all the way around real nice yeah, these fins are terrible out here. No good for COPD, that's for sure. Anyway, I gotta let this drive about 30 minutes and then I'll give it uh, another coat and see what it looks like. Well, just mixing up what's left here. With my... Uh, paint and hardener and uh, reducer yeah, I can still see a lot of pearl and stuff down in the bottom I'd like to get that out and into the paint. I need to stir it better. See if I can pour it in the gun. And uh, make sure I stir it a little in the bottom directly. This metallic stuff you have to Keep it agitated good because your solids will come out and go to the bottom. Hopefully that yeah, that's much better. That should have got most of it. Got about less than half a gun. think that's going to be enough. I'm going to give it a try and see how far it goes. Uh, maybe I'll have to mix up some more. I probably ought to do it right now. Well, I poured some more fresh paint in there. I didn't put any more reducer in it and I went just a little lighter with my uh, I didn't put any hardener in it anymore and uh, I went a little lighter with the thinner a reducer Hoping I can get that all in there at once. Yeah, that really filled that gun up. Maybe I'll get lucky and it won't run down the side. Oh man. No such luck. What mess. Anyway, I'll clean this up.